a person while trading the shares of a particular company observed that its price has gone down by 10% from the previous day in anticipation of increment on the next day he hold it for the next day but the share price further falls down by another 8% of the previous day then he sell his shares and gets 2420 how much could he have saved had he sold it the previous day here share price gone down to 10% from the initial value and again the share price decreased to 8% from the previous day now after this 8% decrement he sold the shares at 12420 that is this 8% reduction lead to this 12420 this 8 percentage reduction is from the previous day so previous day share value is equal to 100 percentage 100 percentage minus 8 percentage is equal to 12420 means 92 percentage is equal to 12420 now if he sold it in previous day he would have get 100 percentage value but he will get 92 percentage today so if he sold it in previous day he would have say 8 percentage so this is savings now 8 percentage value is equal to 12420 divided by 92 into 8 4 goes 2 times in 8 4 goes 2 times in 9 3 times in 12 and 23 goes 5 times in 124 23 into 5 is equal to 100 plus 15 115 remaining 9 so 23 goes 4 times in 92 and remaining 0 So eight percentage value is equal to five forty into two thousand eighty. Option two is your answer. Actually, you can solve it using this eight percentage. This eight percentage reduction leads to this twelve thousand four twenty value. Eight percentage write it in the fraction format, which is equal to two by twenty five. So minus two by twenty five means twenty five is the previous day value. From this twenty five, two part is reducing. So This will become twenty three by twenty five. Now twenty three part is the current value, which is twelve thousand four twenty, and twenty five part is the previous day value. Now you can see difference here is equal to two part. So we need to find out what is two part. Twenty three goes five forty times in twelve thousand four twenty. Then two part is equal to five forty into two thousand eighty. So in this way you can also solve this if you. Are aware of about the fractional value and how to take it. Then you can find it in just two three steps.